Okay, I'm heading out to the spiral jetty. I'm on I-15 heading northbound from Salt Lake City. From Salt Lake it's about an hour and 30, hour and 40 minutes, something like that. So once I get to the turn off, I'll turn you back on. We are taking exit to 365 Corrine. It's the 9, 900 North Street exit. As you can see. In half a mile, take exit 365 for Utah 13. And uh, once we get off, we will be heading west. And I believe we still have another... Take exit 365. Another 50 or 60 miles to go. In a quarter mile, keep right at the fork. Follow signs for Utah 13, Corinne. So once you get down here to the stop sign, you want to hang. Keep right at the fork. All right. Toward Golden Spike, toward Corinne. Continue for 20 miles. So I'll turn it back on once we get to where we are are supposed to be going and I didn't give G get the GPS coordinates because we have the exit sign uh, the exit number for you to turn at so I'll turn back on once we uh, get a little further down the road okay sorry I thought I had this recorder going but apparently I didn't um, you're going to turn at, uh, the GPS calls it 7200, but there's a sign that says Promontory or the Golden Spike National um, something site. Uh, you want to turn, take a left-hand turn there, and then uh, the GPS says it's uh, two miles, you want to go two miles on this road. So as soon as I get down there, I will let you know what's going on. Okay, it is two miles. Take the next right onto 18400 West Road. Six miles. And that's, uh, we're going to hang a right at that sign. Continue for five miles. And we're going to go another five miles down the road. So, looks like we're going to head up in between, in the mountains here, over the mountains, to get to the other side. <laughs> So there's a sign coming up, it says Golden Spike National Historical Site, entrance fee required. There's another sign, Big Phil Exhibit. Not sure what that's, oh it's a place you can pull off and check things out. but. Looks like there's a fee to get to wherever it is we're going. So I'm going to turn this off right now until we get further down the road. Okay, now we're going to head left. There's a sign here. It says Golden Spike Locomotive Springs. Spiral Jetty to the left, uh, see, actually Golden Spike and Spiral Jetty 
to the left. It's another 17 miles to Spiral Jetty. So, we are going to hang a left right here. And it is, the road is 22000 West is where we're going to turn at. And just so you have it, I'm going to throw in the, the GPS coordinates that I have. Continue on 22,000 West Road for one and a half miles. There it is. So we're going to continue down this road for a short bit. And then I will turn the, the camera back on. The Golden Spike Visitor Center. And the pavement road ends and the dirt road begins. Actually, it's a gravel road. And it's another approximately 16 miles to the spiral jetty. So, once we get down that way, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay. Now, we're going to take a left turn. There's a sign that says Spiral Jetty to the left. Oh my god, sorry. There's a sign. Right there. Spiral jetty to the left. 10.3 miles. And if you go to the right, it's West Auto Tour. tour whatever that means. But we want to hang a left. And it's another 10 miles to go to the spiral jetty. And check out check out that view down there it's really awesome okay 10 miles to go okay here's a right hand turn you want to make there is a sign also again spiral jetty to the right nine miles and just so you'll know there was a road back there a little bit to the right you don't want to take that wait till you come to the sign then take that right hand road so we got another nine miles to go okay my GPS is telling me to take a left turn right here there's a road that goes both directions and on each road there's a, a yellow sign. It says no trespassing from a promontory ranch. And because there have been signs all along for the spiral jetty and because a car just passed me, I am not going to take that left hand turn I'm gonna keep going straight this is the location where it's telling me to turn left but I am gonna keep going straight because I think that I'm supposed to so we'll see there's another I believe we still have another 10 miles to go So here it is, the spiral jetty, not sure if that, uh, that creation in the sand means anything, but I'm sure it does. It's uh, a spiral, looks like it's made up of rocks. 
and I'm guessing there's just a little bit of a hike down down to the salt from the road it the, the road actually ends right here so the turn I made I didn't make um, either was right or it, it uh, forms into to this road that comes up here here's the here's the GPS coordinates for here where you cannot go any further on the road but it's a pretty nice view out there and you're supposed to be able to dig up I'm not sure if they call it selenite but it's a uh, I think it's a, more of a salt crystal that's formed out there. So we'll get out and I'm not sure if I want to take the hike down there, but we'll get out and check it out. So just up a little bit from the parking area, there is a, a landmark structure with a spiral jetty sign on it. And here it is. I'm guessing this is Spiral Jetty is an earthwork sculpture constructed in April 2070 that is considered to be the central work of America American sculptor Robert Smith and Born in 38, died in 73. Okay, I'm not going to read the rest of it. But there it is. And it does have to do with that spiral out there. So I'll read it later so I can know what, what it's all about. But this is just up on the hill. Right behind. Right behind it. And there looks like. Right down there looks like a structure that used to be part of a something that is no longer no longer standing, just the bottom part of it. Right here. And somebody looks like somebody's built a fire pit in the center of it. And right next to it is a big old hole. Not sure what that's all about. But here's the structure. And there's Sasha having a great time. But there's the fire pit somebody built. Come here, Sasha. Okay. So, this is a little sample of what you'll find out here. You have to dig for it. It's out there in the sand areas where there's no water. But I've got a few bigger pieces. They're just covered with mud. So when I get them cleaned up, I'll I'll take another short video of what, what it is. But I didn't go down where the spiral was. Down a little bit from there is this area. There's a two roads that you can go down it. They're a little bit rough, but uh, you can get around the rough spots, so pretty much any vehicle should be able to get get down the two roads. Um, but there is, there's two steep roads, and then there's a more level road, but it's kind of close quarters with the bushes, so if you don't want your uh, vehicle scratched up with bushes, you don't want to you wouldn't want to take that one. That one is before the two as you're coming in. Um, it's off to the left. So you want to uh, take that one if, if you don't want to go down the, the steep road. But the steep roads aren't that bad. So anyway, I'm out of here. I will take, I, I can't remember if I took the GPS coordinates at the end of the road but I'll take one right here so that you know where the turnoff is 
and when I get home I'll clean up what I got and show you. Bye. Okay. This is the GPS coordinates to where I stopped and dug just right before the spiral is.